The next stage to teaching your puppy to stay on his bed is to start gradually introducing more and more distractions and distance. So Bandit here is making a really good decision. I'm standing pretty good distance away, about good, about three feet, and he's remaining. I am marking his good behavior with the word good. This lets him know I'm going to be delivering a treat to him and he should stay right where he is because he's being such a rock star. Good. As I move around the room, I'm gradually increasing my movement. Good. And he's continuing to make good choices. The next step to this would be to introduce minor distractions, like me walking in a circle where I turn my back on him. That can be a little bit challenging for some dogs, good. But he made a really good decision. He thought about getting up just there, but chose to lay back down, good. So I'm going to mark that. The distraction of me getting more kibble from the bowl, and he, good, made a really nice choice. Okay, search. And I'm gonna release him off the bed, and he's gonna go find that cookie under the chair. Bandit, place. Good boy. Good, <laughs> he's thinking so hard, but making such good decisions. Minor distractions can be something as simple as walking over and touching something like a pen on the other table. Good. And the puppy choosing to stay on the bed. We're picking up this a little bit. Oh, that was too much. So he broke off the bed when I picked up one of his toys. So I'm just gonna interrupt him and remind him to get on his place. Good. So we'll try that distraction again and see if we can help him understand to stay even when I pick up one of his toys. Good. So I'll make it a little simpler. I'm gonna pick up a more boring toy. Good boy. And he made such a wonderful decision. I'm gonna give him lots of rewards for that. Good. And you can see he learned from the previous mistake and has making really nice decisions now. This would be considered stage two of place training, introducing minor distractions.